This is the Smart Measuring Cup project. And what this is, is a measuring cup that displays the volume it's measuring on a web page. And what you're looking at here is a graduated cylinder, and inside of it is this E-tape liquid level sensor. And it's basically a long resistor that changes its resistance based on what the level of the liquid is touching it. And it's connected to an Arduino Yun, and so the Yun can use its analog input to read the resistance value. And then it's sending all of that data to a web page right here. So the, pa the page is being served by the Yun, and it'll update in real time with the volume of liquid that it's measuring. So if I pour some water into the top of it, then you'll actually see the web page update. So I'll kind of do this a little slowly. And so now you can see the web page is showing about 67 or so milliliters of water. And if I add a little bit more water, you'll actually see it update in real time, just like that. So this is pretty handy in that you can pour things into the graduated cylinder and see what the volume is. And the web page here gives you a lot of control. So you can do things like change the units. So if I want to put this into fluid ounces, I can do that. So there's about three ounces or so inside of there. Uh, you can also tear the measurement. And so what that does is it zeroes it out. So now when I add more fluid to the container, you'll see it's measuring relative to the value that I teared it at. And you can also just clear that and go back to the actual value that's measuring. So this is really nice in that it's a really simple way to measure the volume of liquid. And it's just using this liquid level sensor to send the data to an Arduino, which is then serving it to the web page here. And the actual uh, server that's running on the Yoon is using the Python Flask framework. And it's a real simple framework for serving web pages. And the way things work is that the sketch that runs on the Yoon's AT Mega processor continually reads the resistance of the data from the liquid level sensor, and it serves it to a local server running on the Yoon that the Flask application connects to and sends to this web page using HTML5 server sent events, which are just a special way of sending data to a web page. Uh, it keeps a connection open and just continually sends data to the web page. So it's a great way to take a sensor and send it to a web page without a lot of uh, messing around with other technologies and things. So this is the Smart Measuring Cup project.